Hi, this is Dizzy, and I want to talk about the case of Terry Miles, the man who abducted two girls aged 7 and 14 in Round Rock in Texas, right near Austin. Um, this story hits close to home for me for several reasons. Terry Miles is from Louisiana, as am I. I now live in New York, and the crime actually happened a few miles away from where I lived one year ago. Um, he, he was the prime suspect in the murder of Tanya Bates, the mother of the two girls he abducted. There hasn't been a lot of news as to whether they have solidified these charges that he did kill her, and I do fully believe he killed her. So during this video, I will say he's the murderer. And I will back up that claim. Just give me some time, some time. Anyway, I saw a lot of confusion online about how he was even a free man once articles were released of what we know about Terry Miles and what you should know about Terry Miles while the Amber Alert was still active before the girls were found safe in Colorado when a woman spotted the car and, um, called it in. If I seem out of breath, it's because I was just chasing my kid around the house. Anyway, I'm familiar with how the Louisiana justice system works. Or doesn't work, actually. Here is Here's the charges against him. December 2009, domestic abuse battery. 2011, July, domestic abuse battery. September 2004, 13 pornography involving juveniles October 2011 attempted second degree murder June 2014 domestic abuse battery 2014 July murder suspect August 2015 considered a person of interest in third degree rape of a woman in Sulphur, Louisiana November 2015, domestic abuse battery, sentenced to six months in jail. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of people read that and they're like, how was he not in prison? And let me tell you, it's because of the Louisiana justice system and how a lot of states work. Lots of people out there are walking free who are murder suspects. Or, you know, some evidence was mishandled, so they weren't indicted by a grand jury. So let me go over it for you. Um, so I've seen a lot of people confused as to why this man wasn't locked up for multiple beatings and stranglings of women. Most of his domestic abuse uh, charges did involve strangling. Uh, an attempted murder in which he even staged the woman's suicide, but she wasn't strangled hard enough for it to actually die. That's why it was attempted murder. Um, as well as an actual murder where he is the suspect but wasn't indicted by a grand jury due to lack of evidence. Well, well, well. Strangling is usually dropped from a felony obstruction of breathing charge down to simple battery or even just harassment, especially if the abused woman doesn't want to or is afraid to really push the court to keep the guy in jail. Now, to clarify that, that goes, the strangling charge goes from felony obstruction of breathing down to harassment. It goes from basically attempted murder, felony obstruction of breathing, down to the equivalent of sending too many text messages to your ex. <clears throat> and that's not just Louisiana. That happens here. That happened to me recently. Especially if the perpetrator is charming or seems innocent. Has an innocent face, you know, a good old boy charm. You can get away with anything. Um, let's see. 
Beating someone up is easily dropped to simple battery or harassment. Um, and I can understand dropping a first offense down to a misdemeanor. Uh, but when you like pile up two or three or four charges where you are clearly showing a pattern of being like abusive and demented and dangerous to society, then why are you still walking around? Um, you know, once you pile up two or three, four or five charges, that's a failure of the law. That's a failure of the system. And as someone who was born and raised in Louisiana, where Terry Miles is from, and where I moved away from, I am not at all surprised that they failed to get him indicted on a murder he probably committed as he used the same method on the mother of the girls who he abducted. He used the same method to kill her as he did to kill the woman in Sulphur, Louisiana. That's why I think he really did commit the murder and it wasn't just him stumbling on a bad scene. Uh, I think he said that there were some crazy Mexicans involved or something. It's just like somebody from Louisiana to commit a murder and say it was crazy Mexicans. Like, I just, it shouldn't be funny. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's just so ridiculous. Like a South Park episode. Um, so I'm not surprised that he, you know, got away with murder. Um, he's probably got a good old Southern white boy personality and some charm that the cops down there eat right up. Um, also he has sexual charges that include possession of underage porn and sexual assault. And then he kidnapped a seven year old and 14 year old girl. I've also seen a lot of people bashing the now dead mother because he was living with her and her daughters not far from where I lived. Um, we don't know how much she knew about this guy before moving him in. And they apparently weren't dating. It was apparently he was their babysitter is what people are saying. Um, uh, and we don't know how much he lied. I'm sure it was a lot. Uh, but please feel free before moving people into your home with your children to go through their wallet and get their license and research them. Okay, and I'm not even done. I'm not even done because there were statements by the actual father of the girls or one of the girls. They were half siblings from what I can tell. Um, the father of the 14 year old girl. I was curious where he was in all of this because I personally believe that men can do better than what we expect of them. And that they should be involved in their children's lives. And then I read his statement. He said, I was just overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it when he found out the girls were safe. Police had been looking for the girls and Miles since Sunday and they were found. And he's a person of interest in her homicide. Griffith, the father, didn't know how this kidnapping would end. He said Miles acted inappropriately with his 14-year-old daughter when he used to live next door. He said one time Lily or Lily stayed the night in Miles' trailer, but Miles said she just fell asleep. The father continues, he knew my daughter for one day or something like that, and then they're hugging, explains Griffin. Why are you not whooping up on this guy? Why didn't you whoop up on this guy when your daughter magically fell asleep in his trailer and then was hugging a 40-something-year-old man? It's very rare that I'm happy to see a child go to protective custody or to foster care or anything like that rather than just being united with their parent. But good grief. 
He believes Miles was stalking his daughter, which is how he ended up living with her, her mother, and half-sister at their Round Rock duplex. So, this guy felt that Miles was stalking his daughter. He acted inappropriately with her in front of him. And he didn't do anything about it. He just let his daughter run off with the mother and, you know, live in the same house and had already suspected stalking. Um, I did some investigation on Facebook of the mother's, you know, profile where apparently she went to New York City and got back like on the 17th of December. Um, we can watch Potatoes and Molasses in a second. Uh, my daughter likes over the garden wall and I'm obsessed with it too. But it just it's flabbergasting to me that a father could see this behavior and not do anything about it. And quite frankly, if my child went missing, I would be in my car driving around the country with a gun ready. I'm sorry, but if you come near my child, I will kill you. I don't understand this father's lackadaisical way of dealing with this. But it appears that the girls did not go to New York with the mother. Which means they likely were staying with Terry Miles while she was on vacation. Isn't that right? Us, me, and the We will. Um. So, during her vacation, let's... I'm going to just assume right now that the girls were staying with Terry Miles. And then when she gets back, she's murdered and the girls are taken. So what was going on between Terry Miles and that 14-year-old girl? And maybe the 7-year-old too. Because my, my intuition is telling me he was into that girl, the 14-year-old that the father knew was being stalked and maybe this progressed during the uh, vacation where the girls were probably <laughs> left with Terry Miles Hi. and once the mother was back Terry Miles was like nope we gotta do away with the mother so that I can have you know the, the child the 14 year old and 14 year old girl is a child by the way um, so, that's what I think happened. I think that he killed the mother so that he could take the children, specifically. And now you know how someone could have attempted murder charges, actual murder charges, and still be out of prison. Yay, Louisiana. You did a real good job. Anyhow... Thank you, and I might make more videos as more is released on the case. Obviously, it's very sensitive right now. The girls are traumatized, surely, and they're trying to figure out exactly what and how to charge Terry Miles. So, good luck to the police, and good luck to the little girls, and for the love of God, I hope that father has some regret for letting, Bye. letting things just escalate the way they did. If I knew someone was stalking my child, you'd be dead. Anyway, I hope everyone has had a good New Year so far. <laughs> and be sure to research people before you move them into your house, especially if you've got babies. Especially if you've got babies. And, uh... Apart from that, speaking ill of the dead isn't going to do you much good. And I hope everyone in Round Rock or wherever the girls end up acts as a village to help these girls go through and recover from an experience that most of us can't even fathom. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Say bye-bye.